Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. We are here for War 4, technically, since... Well, technically it's War 5, since War 4 got cancelled. But we are going up against the number 3 alliance in the world at the time. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a Chinese alliance, I believe. First fight, really simple. Doctor Doom versus Annihilus. Path 4. Going in here, power start 1. Nullifies Rod, and it kind of just turns him off. And I throw it pretty willy-nilly because it's unblockable, and even if he goes unstoppable, it's going to nullify that. We go in and just do Dr. Doom things. Um, pretty hard to lose this fight. I would have to truly mess up pretty badly. But we're going to go in here, get to our SP3. He's going to throw one more SP1. We dodge it. Go in for a combo. SP3, finish this fight up and move on to the next one. So this was a big war for us, um, being ranked for number four at Masters at the time. I'm always behind on these war videos, so this is a, two wars ago now, but this is a big, big war for us. Uh, we needed to be clean, and we had some early opportunities, um, up a couple kills, and we'll, we'll see how it turns out, but second fight, up against this Havoc on 19, I believe. This is Bubble Shield. Not a very hard fight with Warlock. Or maybe this is Path 4, I think, in Section 2. Um, yeah, it looks like Path 4 in Section 2. So if he throws a special, he's going to put some debuffs on me. And if he has more than three debuffs, uh, he's going to be unblockable. But. I mean, Warlock, when they have willpower, is just too good. He's barely gonna get a special here in this fight. I just keep power draining him. Got three infections up. And that's poor Havoc, man. I'm just not even getting an opportunity to use the node. Just a few seconds here, we are going to be all cleaned up and ready to move on to the next fight. He does get to throw one special in this fight, but that's okay. Lose my armor up, but didn't have any plasmas on me because of the power drain. And finish it up with an SP2. Pretty simple fight. So, good start to the war. Um, moving on. I've had to take this fight a couple times now. It's a Null on path 4 and taking it with Mole Man. I boost pretty big and use power back boosts. Um, it's a little tricky uh, just because you want to not go into Frenzy, but at some point, if he ever throws his SP2, you're just going to go into Frenzy. So, what I've found is actually probably the safest way to play this is to get to your SP2, trigger Frenzy, and try to just cycle SP2s. Um, it works pretty well. You'll see here, now I've got 12 mole mass and unblock this special because, man, I, I always get tagged by that special. I don't know why. Even when I think I've got it timed right, that second part always connects. See there, got a lot of power back, holding block. Gonna go back in for a combo. Back up, hold block, throw another SP2. This one's almost gonna finish him, give me a lot of power. Gonna hold block again. I don't want him to throw any specials. He goes unblockable here. I back up, hoping he would come in for a common I can intercept, but there's a weird thing with Null's SP2 where the first part will connect, but then you'll actually be able to get away from it. So we actually finished the fight at 100% even after getting tagged, so it's, it's a pretty safe fight. Now this fight, America Chavez here, um, probably don't send Doom. Um, relatively safe, I guess. Doom's so big and tanky, but... There's a lot going on with Chavez, and can easily go pretty poorly, so step one, you don't want to counter her heavy uh, in between hits initially. You want to let her finish it. See there, I lost my first indestructible boost, I was too far away, mistimed my dash back on the SP1. Um, the reason Doom is a little sketch in this fight is because her negative zone decreases all of your ability power gain, so that's his power steal, that's his um, on lights on a special one. It, you're still able to steal 
or I guess drain her power, but you don't get any of it. So, see here I throw an SP1, it, it does the normal doom power drain, but you don't get very much of that power at all. Um, so I'm just, I'm trying to keep her away from SP2, uh, that's where you can start to have some problems if she's unblockable. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's a hard one for me to dex consistently. Um, at this point I'm still going for some intercepts just because I still have indestructible boost, but you'll see here in a second when she gets to an SP2 that is unblockable, I'm going to lose my indestructible boost and then again, the name of the game is safety. I don't want to die. Um, so I'm just gonna take this fight slowly. I don't really need to intercept. I'm gonna get it finished um, It's better to finish than not die. So here comes the unblockable special. I'm too early on the decks I take two hits and a decent amount of burst damage But we're doing okay here. She's got 37% left and I've got 80 so I'm feeling good at this point um, Just trying to consistently bait those sp1s and kind of like Mysterio, she really loves to throw heavies. It seems like she's hard-coded to just throw as many heavies as possible. And it can be quite annoying, but um, as long as you know how to deal with her heavy in a bad situation, which you'll see in a second. Again, she's at SP2 here, and I, I want to drain her below SP2 um, so I don't take a huge unlocking special. So a lot of times when she has two bars of power, I will just back up and hold block and have her come in. So here I'm, again, just baiting SP1s. I'm going back in, trying to control her power. There I'm, again, holding block. Just back up, hold block, don't want to throw that special. Force blocking is a really underrated technique in this game. It can really help you control a matchup, even if you don't have a true power control champ. So, 78, 13 at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. Then she starts being a little weird. Um, just throwing heavy, so I'm sitting here trying to figure out. I'm gonna get my opening. So now she's gonna SP2. I'm a little worried, I'm in the corner. There's a little nice little dex. Get the power drain. And I think we're gonna be able to finish this fight. I just I was worried about her throwing the SP2 there and that I wasn't gonna get to my SP1 and yeah. This, this fight's tricky and long. Here I it's okay that she throws the SP2. Her last dimension was not the unblockable one, so I'm good to go. I'm gonna go in here, take some reflect damage. But I, I just wanna finish this fight at this point. I don't wanna stay in here. It's been almost four minutes now. I'm just gonna finish it off with an SP1. Get the heck out. So, actually a relatively safe matchup if you know how to play around her abilities, but definitely not a fast one. There's probably better options for that. 162 hits, man. So, then I snagged this Psycho Man mini boss. Um, I was on my boosts, and they were expiring. I had that void mini boss coming up, and I wanted to get my fights done, so I asked my BG leader if I could take this. He said, hey, as long as you solo it. I did a couple duels, and... Uh, I think this is actually a pretty good matchup. So, for some reason, I, I, I don't really get this, but Psycho Man's concussion doesn't really seem to do anything. Like, places some debuffs, but I don't know. Your defensive ability accuracy still seems to work, and you'll notice that later in the block portion. I thought it was gonna fail my unstoppable, but I did like ten duels, and it never did. So I was like, I, mean, I guess it just doesn't do anything. So, again, my goal in this fight, because it's safeguard, is to just place a lot of bleeds, throw SP1s when I can, get the shocks off. Um, just, just a pretty basic fight, not much to it. Um, don't really know why Psycho Man was placed here. He doesn't really have any mechanics that make this note hard, and um, SP1 is very easy to dodge. So, not an ideal placement, which is why I was like, hey, I can just take this with one man, we'll be fine. So you'll see here, he's on his block mode, which is supposed to lower your ability accuracy when you block, but I'm still getting every single unstoppable, um, and just nuking him down on the time, so I don't, I don't, <laughs> Psycho Man needs some work, uh, just not a good champion in my opinion, and not even really a good defender, but with a few tweaks, I think he could be pretty awesome, so. 
see with the rebalancing what they're going to end up doing with him, but yeah, 34% left, I've still got 92, getting some mole mass, and again, just a very simple fight, I'm just gonna go in and hit this dude and place bleeds, so not too bad. At this point, again, we were up in the war, uh, just feeling good about it, um, but spoiler alert, we do end up losing this war, um, just gave up too many deaths, uh, which is frustrating. I, I think we know that we belong here, we know that we have the skill to do it. Um, I think there's just a lack of focus, you know. Um, at this level you have to be consistent, you have to play safe, you have to boost big, and that's really all there is to it. Um, at this point actually we were down 8-3, but we did make a comeback later and we were up, but couldn't get the job done. But here's my last fight of the war. It is Void on the Stunning Reflect Mini. Um, I've had to take this, I think, twice now. Um, I think next war I take... Actually, next war it's Torch on this node, but... Yeah, this is a pretty straightforward fight with Mole Man. Um, I practiced a lot against Void, countering the first hit of his heavy. Um, which is really the safest way to do it if you try to counter after the second hit, you get, I, I at least get tagged a lot, so I'm going to go in here, try to bait heavies until I have some mole mass, and then I'll just unstoppable counter, but yeah, I'm just chilling, holding block, I mess up with dex there, I've been, I've been doing that a little bit too much recently, I need to tighten that up, um, I dash back and then they come in for another attack and I just get tagged, so I need to figure out how to avoid that, but um, Again, I, I boost big enough and I use indestructible boosts in almost every fight, so. They're little mistakes that you want to improve and get rid of to be consistent at the highest level, but at the same time, a solo is a solo. That's one of my favorite expressions, but it really is true. Like, as long as you have health potions to use and you don't mind the cost of that, then you're fine as long as you don't let your team down and give up a death on a fight that you should win. So, going in here, um, again, very straightforward fight. In retrospect, uh, I have skill boosts on, I probably shouldn't bother with the SP1 and just throw SP2. I think I was trying to keep my mole mass up, but, um, again, another mistake there. I backed up, thought I was out of range of the SP1, but got tagged by the first hit of it, but again, indestructible boost. Very little impact on my health bar because of that, and we're getting this fight done. Um, I'm just trying to make no more mistakes from here on out with the indestructible boost gone and finish up this fight. But yeah, I'll, I'll let this fight play out. Um, nothing really to it from here, and just talk about the goals for the rest of the season. Again, we're I'm a war behind now just because I'm a little late getting out these videos out, but we really are pushing for some of those top master spots. And um, at this level, it's it's competitive, you know, and it's it's frustrating. People get upset when other people die, and people um, people just want to win, man. And I get it. I, I want to win. I want to win every war. So I go out there and I try to do my part and win every fight, but. The reality is, like, you just can't be perfect, and sometimes you lose wars, and you have to regroup and focus up for the next one. So at this point, 3 and 1 on the season. Um, I'll try to get the next war video out on time so that I can catch up. But I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Um, as always, hope you're doing well, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Later.